Good day everyone, we are the BOSS team, also known as the Brigade of Splendid Students. I am Jerome Tayao together with Sander Malais, Maria Socorro Brabot, Ian Latumbo, and Clyde Perater. In this report, we'll explore the idea of customer virtuous cycle, which means that the, when a business create value for their customers, it leads to more business success. We'll talk about how important it is to understand and connect with the customer, and we'll give you some tips on how to make them happy. But before anything else, we would like to ask you, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when we say the word customer value? So please go to www.menti.com and type in the code 2773-7111 and type at least three words that you recall when you hear customer value. Yes, you are all right. Engagement, retention, pricing, trust, convenience, loyalty, quality, and satis satisfaction and experience are all important factors that contribute to the overall concept of customer value. To deliver, custom, to deliver value to customers, Business must offer convenient, high-quality products or services that meet their needs and exceed their expectations. Convenience is a key aspect of customer value, as customers today demand fast, easy, and efficient solutions. Loyalty is also crucial to customer value, as, is, as, it, is, as it not only encourages repeat business, but also drives positive word-of-mouth recommendations. Trust is another essential element of customer value as it builds strong, long-lasting relationships between customers and businesses. Quality is a critical factor in customer value as it ensures that customers receive products or services that are reliable, effective, and meet their standards. Ultimately, the, by, prioritize, by prioritizing engagement, retention, Pricing, trust, convenience, loyalty, quality, satisfaction, and experience, business can create a superior customer value proposition that meets and exceeds the needs and expectations of their target market. What is customer value? So, customer value refers to perceived benefits that a customer receives from a product or service compared to the cost or effort required to obtain it. It is a measure of worth or usefulness of the product or service to the customer. Customer value can include factors such as the quality of the product, the price, the level of customer service, the convenience of purchase, the availability of product information, and the brand reputation. Essentially, it is what customer is willing to pay for a product or service based on the benefits it provides them. Understanding the and delivering customer value is critical for building a long-term customer relationship and achieving business success. So let's say you're looking for to buy a new laptop. You find two laptops with similar specifications but one is priced $500 and other is priced at $700. So the $500 laptop is cheaper but it doesn't come with any customer support and you have to pay for any repairs out of on your out of your own pocket the $700 laptop on the other hand comes with the one year warranty with free technical support and free repairs during the warranty period so in this case the $700 laptop offers more customer value because even though it's more expensive it offers additional benefits like a warranty free technical support and repairs this perceived value may be enough to convince you to spend extra two hundred dollars on the seven hundred dollars laptop so the next one is the direct customer value Direct customer value refers to the tangible benefits of a customer receives directly from a product or service. These benefits are is usually easy to quantify and can be measured regarding the product's quality, features, 
performance and functionality. Examples of direct customer value including a product's durability, reliability, ease of use, and ability to meet the customer's specific needs or solve their problems. So let's say you're looking to buy a new smartphone. You, you find two smartphones with similar specifications, but one has a higher quality camera than the other. So the smartphone with the higher quality camera would offer direct customer value because it provides a tangible benefit that a customer can directly experience, which is the ability to take better quality images and videos. So this could be a deciding factor for a customer who values taking high quality images and videos and is willing to pay more for that feature. Our customer's direct value is computed by determining the average revenue each customer brings in per transaction. So we check, do they renew their subscriptions every month? Do they buy what we propose or, we, what we propose or upsell? Do they sign up for additional services? So, the first calculation shows the total subscription cost per year, which is calculated by multiplying the subscription rate by 12 months. In this case, the subscription rate is $21.95. So, the total subscription cost per year would be $263.40. So, the second calculation shows the total revenue per year which is calculated by adding the total subscription cost to the average transaction per year multiplied by 2. In this case, the average transaction per year is $200. So, the total revenue per year is $263.40 plus the $200 multiplied by 2 is equals to $663.40. So the third calculations show calculation shows the average worth of transactions per month, which is calculated by dividing the total revenue per year by 12 months. In this case, the average worth of transactions per month is $55.28. And finally, the direct lifetime value is calculated by multiplying the total revenue per year by the number of the customers is expected to remain a customer. In this case, the customer lifetime value is estimated at 15 years. So direct lifetime value is $663.40 per year multiplied by 15 years is equals to $9,951. This means that over the course of 15 years, the customer is expected to spend nearly $10,000 on the company's product or services. Indirect customer value Indirect value may be defined as the value that the customer costs us for as a result of a word of mouth, positive reviews, or referrals. It is a fact that happy customer tells at least 5 people about their positive experience. Indirect customer value uh, can be a powerful driver of customer's loyalty as it creates a deeper connection between the customer and the brand. However, it can be more difficult to measure than direct customer value as it often is based on subjective perceptions rather than uh, objective metrics. Companies that are able to understand and deliver indirect customer value are often able to build a strong and more meaningful relationship with their customers. Example, $9,951 times 5 equals to $49,755 revenue per year for 5 referral customers. If $9,951 times 1,500 customers, it, it will equal to $14,926,500 from 1,500 customers per year. $14,926,500 times 0 0.25 realistic indirect value is equal to $3,731,625 per year from 25% repairs. 
$3,731,625 plus $14,926,500 is equals to $18,658,125 per year from combined direct and indirect values of 1,500 customers. The example provided is a calculation of the combined direct and indirect customer value that the company can expect to receive from 1,500 customers. The first calculation shows the revenue that can be generated from five referral customers. This is calculated by multiplying the customer lifetime value or CLV of $9,951 by 5 resulting in $49,755 in revenue per year. The second calculation shows the potential revenue that can be generated from all 1,500 customers in a year, which is calculated by multiplying the CLV of $9,951 by 1,500 customers, resulting in $14,926,500 in revenue per year. The third calculation estimates the realistic indirect value of those customers, assuming that 25% uh, percent of them will refer others to the company. This is calculated by multiplying the total revenue per year by 0 0.25, resulting $3,731,625 in revenue from indirect customer value per year. Finally, the total revenue for here, from combined direct and indirect customer value is calculated by adding the direct revenue of $14,926,500 to the indirect revenue of $3,731,625 per year, resulting in a total of $18,658,125 in revenue per year. This example demonstrates how indirect customer value can have significant impact on a company's overall revenue, particularly when customer refers other to the company. By understanding and leveraging both direct and indirect customer value, companies can maximize their revenue potential and build strong, long-lasting relationships with their customers. Customer Value Equation Customer's definition of customer value represented by an equation Customer value equals percent of benefits divided by total cost ownership. The equation customer value equals percent of benefits divided by total cost of ownership represents a method for calculating the perceived value of a product or service. It takes into the account of a proportion of benefits received by the customer compared to the total cost of ownership, including all expenses associated with purchasing, using, and maintaining the product or service. The percent of benefits refers to the aspect of the product or service that are seen as valuable to the customer, while the total cost of ownership includes all expenses related to its use. A higher ratio of customer value indicates a better perception of value relative to the cost, while a lower ratio implies that the product or service may not be providing enough value to justify the expenses. Customer value virtue cycle. First is the customer satisfaction. When a customer is satisfied with a product or service, they are more likely to become repeat customers and to recommend the product or service to others. This leads to increased customer loyalty and a higher lifetime value. Next is the point of purchase. The point of purchase is where the customer decides to buy the product or service. By understanding the customer's needs and preferences, Businesses can optimize the point of purchase to maximize customer satisfaction and revenue. This includes factors such as pricing, product presentation, and customer service. Next is the business revenue. When a customer satisfaction is high and the point of purchase is optimized, businesses are able to generate more revenue. This increased revenue can be reinvested into the business to improve the quality of the product or service further increasing customer satisfaction. Next, improve morale. As a business generate more revenue and improve the quality of their product or service, employees become more motivated and engaged. This leads to improved morale, which can further increase productivity and quality. Lastly is the organizational productivity. 
improve morale and engagement can lead to increased productivity, which in turn can improve the quality of the product or service and increase customer satisfaction. This leads back to the beginning of the cycle, creating a virtuous cycle of continuous improvement. Three major classification of customer types. First, in relation to the business. Internal, fellow employees and managers within a place of business. Next is external. People and organization who have a need for your product or service and purchase your product services in exchange for money. Next is in relation to the support required. First one is the novice. Little to no experience with the product. Next is the advanced. Have understanding of hardware software. Next one is the in relation to the robot needed. And talkative. Poor listeners who probably don't listen to directions. Next one is the passive. Needs more guidance than most customer types. There are three major classification of customer type, each of which is related to different aspects of business. The first classification is based on the whether the customers are internal, such as fellow employees and managers within the organization, or external, which includes people and organization who purchase product or services in exchange for money. The second classification is based on the level of support required with no base customer having little to no experience with the product or service, and advanced customers having a greater understanding of the hardware or software. The final classification is based on the type of property needed, with talkative customers being for listeners who may not follow instruction well, and passive customers require more guidance than most other types. Understanding these different customer types can help business provide more effective support and build stronger relationships with their customers. The concept of customers as value is about putting customer at the center of a business's strategy and recognizing their essential role in creating value for the company. Um, remember, uh, customers are not just a part of not just a part of source of revenue for a business but are integral to its success. And customers as goals. The concept of customers as goals is about recognizing the importance of customers as the ultimate objective of a business and aligning all aspects of the company to meet their needs. By understanding and meeting the needs of its customer, a business can build strong relationship and customers' loyalty, which can ultimately lead to long-term success and growth. It means that customers are not just a means to an end but the un but at the end goal themselves the customer value virtuous cycle is a concept that describes the interconnected relationship between creating value for customers and achieving business success listening and empathy play a crucial role in this cycle particularly in the IT BPM industry by putting themselves in the shoes of their customers Company can gain a deeper understanding of their needs and expectations, and therefore provide more relevant and valuable products and services. This, in turn, leads to increased customer satisfaction and loyalty, which translates to higher sales and revenue. As the business grows, more resources can be invested in further improving customer value creating a self-sustaining cycle of growth and success. Therefore, it is essential for companies in the IT BPM industry to prioritize listening and empathy skills as the uh, components of the customer value strategy. That's all for our report. Thank you for listening.